Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to be a major league door kicker. I'm Delta Nine, and this is Johnny Tactical. The idea behind having to kick in a door is simply that time is of the essence. You don't have time to wait for tools to arrive or additional personnel. Someone's life is in danger and so you have to get through the door and so kicking it is your only option. You've decided, you've got to breach the door and you've communicated what you're about to do. Here's how to safely and effectively breach the door. All right, so when you get to the door, step one is to read the door. Reading the door is simply taking a look at it and you're gonna check for the hinges and the knob. If the hinges are on the inside, that tells you that this is an inward opening door. If the hinges are on the outside and you can see them, that's gonna tell you the door opens outward. Secondly, you can check for the knob. The knob just simply tells you does the door open to the left or to the right, and also you're gonna base your body position off of where the knob is. All right, so if the hinges are on the inside, it's an inward opening door, those kinds of doors you can kick or you can ramp. Outward opening doors need to be pried. We're not gonna cover that in this video. If you wanna see more about that, check out my video, Manual Breaching Basics. Step number two is try the knob. I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, thanks Captain Obvious, try the knob. Well, yeah, try the knob because you never know, the door could be open. Under stress and strain and the adrenaline pumping through your body, oftentimes people forget the simplest things which is just try the knob. And if the, knob is, if the door is unlocked, Turn the knob, open the door. On the Uvalde shooting, the after action report, it did show that the classroom door was in fact unlocked and no one ever actually tried the knob. So always try the knob, save you a lot of time, effort, and from looking like an idiot. Step number three is just consider your options. So what I mean by that is if you have time, you're gonna want additional personnel, set up a perimeter, be on a breaching team with you and have, form an entry team, have additional tools, like your RAM, your Halligan, and whatever other tools you have accessible to you, and then make a plan. It's always gonna be safer if you have more people with you and more efficient tools to make sure that you're able to get through the door efficiently and effectively, and more importantly, safely. So consider your options before you go ahead and kick that door. Step number four is put your gun away. Okay, I know you've seen TV and movies where they have their gun out and they're like sexy posing before they go in and they kick the door, they go in and they save the day, they kill the bad guy and they save the hostage, but that is not real life, okay? When you are breaching a door, you have one job, and that is to breach the door. The reason is simply this, there is something called a sympathetic reflex, and all that means is what you do with one half of your body is often mirrored by the other half. So for example, if I strain, like I'm gonna throw a hard punch, well, on impact, my other side of my body is gonna to wanna to tighten up as well. Similarly with a kick, if I'm driving a kick into a door, for example, and I'm really stressing and straining, especially on impact, what's gonna happen is my upper body is gonna to wanna to tighten and contort and strain under that, under that effort. And if I am clenching my fist with a gun in my hand, what's gonna happen? I could accidentally rip off a round. Now you might be thinking, that's not gonna happen. Oh, oh yeah, I can tell you it happened. It happened in my city where I worked. We were on a SWAT operation with a, jo it was a joint operation with another tactical team. They had one address, we had another, and one of their officers breached an interior door by kicking it with a gun in his hand. His foot went through the door, he lost his balance, fell down, and in the process, fired off a round, shooting an innocent person. That is like your worst day ever. You don't ever want that to happen. So if you are kicking a door, that is your job. Put your gun away. It is far safer. Step number five is fully commit to the kick. When it's go time and you've decided you're gonna kick that door, make sure you are fully committed. That means you're giving it 100% effort. If you go into that with the mindset of, this is probably not gonna work, that's gonna trickle down into your subconscious and then 
manifest itself into a weak kick and you're not gonna open the door or you're gonna like injure your, your leg or something like that. So you wanna make sure you're fully committed. And for kicking the door, I recommend two types of kicks. You've got the front kick and the back kick. And this isn't a martial arts video. I'm not gonna show you how to kick the door, but I would strongly, strongly encourage you to uh, pick up a martial art if you haven't and learn proper technique for kicking because it all comes down to body mechanics and technique. Okay, step number six. The last step is simply get out of the way. Your job is to breach. Once that door is open, your job is done and you need to get out of the way because for two reasons. One is you don't have a gun because you put it away and two, you've got a group of people ready to make entry. So once the door's open, just get out of the way. You can trail in behind the others once they go in and pick up from there. All right, so those are your six steps on how to successfully kick in a door. Here's a couple extra tips to help you get even better. Tip number one is don't go it alone. I'm not saying you have to have an entire SWAT team behind you, but you at least need to have a cover officer. Because like I said, while you're breaching the door, you don't have a gun out, so you need a cover officer. Make sure you have a cover officer, do not go it alone. Okay, tip number two is placement is key. So what we wanna do is we wanna hit as close to the knob as possible and as close to the frame as possible. So you're gonna have a sweet spot, which is gonna be right here roughly the size of a sheet of paper, and that's what you want to aim for with your kick. Placement is key to get the maximum amount of energy to defeat that locking mechanism. Tip number three, do not shoulder the door. What I mean is don't throw your body into the door. Again, another misconception from Hollywood and TV that just doesn't work. Because even if you throw your full weight of your body into the door and you get it open, you're probably gonna be in the room with a injured shoulder, which doesn't do anybody any good. Do not shoulder the door. Your, the structure, your skeletal structure of your shoulder is not meant to be crashing into things like that. A kick is far more effective anyway, so don't shoulder the door. You're just gonna get hurt. Tip number four is know when to say when. After several attempts of trying to get through that door, if you're not able, the likelihood is by that point, you're gonna be gassed. So you're gonna need to step off and let somebody else take over for you. Sometimes we get fixated, uh, sometimes it's ego, sometimes it's adrenaline, sometimes it's stress. Sometimes we'll just keep doing the same thing over and over without realizing it's not being effective. So know when to say when, ask yourself, is this working? Should somebody else be doing this? Should we be trying something else? And just know when to, to call it and step off and let somebody else take over. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to check me out on other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, and also my website, johnnytactical.org, where you can find sweet tactical t-shirts just like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Delta Nine, and this is Johnny Tactical. Ground beef must be on sale <laughs> or something. No, maybe it's steak. Oh, what am I doing? Stupid when I smile. I can't just be hey, hoo, hoo, bing, bing, bing. It like doesn't go. The idea behind this video is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.